Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Droll Kyle Mania, back again with another episode of Cribcraft. I bet you never thought this would happen again. I didn't think it would either. Uh, it's probably been like four years since my last upload on the uh, on YouTube in general. Um, I've been out of the scene for quite a while. I'm sure as many of you know, if any of you are watching. Um, but you know, I came back for a little house tour because my friend Shane, when she was asking for me to upload a video to the Cribcraft channel in this quarantine that we're in right now, and I'm like, you know what, Shane? I'll give the people what they want. And by the people, I mean just you because I don't think anybody else was asking for a Cribcraft video besides you. So let's take a look at this house I built. So as you, uh, as you can see, I'm on a completely super flat world here. Um, I just built all this terrain around the house. Otherwise, the whole world is just super flat. So anything that's built here was placed by hand. Um, we're currently on the PC version of Minecraft. So you come up to the house, you got a nice little walkway going up with some lamps going all the way around got a nice pond um, with a little waterfall and a little hill over here which I think looks really nice you probably saw that in the intro of the video um, yeah, it's pretty cool and you got the forest going into an open opening over there which looks very nice um, you've come over to the house we'll do a quick fly around of it just take a look at it unfortunately it's a little hard to go like slow in PC because you fly so fast but we'll just do a quick fly around and that is the house and I'll go more into the backyard and side yard when we uh, finish the inside of the house so I got some nice flowers some nice peonies or whatever they're called so first one thing to note when we walk in this is a small house I'm not gonna lie it's not a big house not a big mansion or anything but it's it's got a fairly decent interior and it's kind of like a gothic or like Tudor styled house is how I would describe it um, so it's old-fashioned it's not gonna be like super modern on the interior and you'll see what I mean so first room is just like this foyer. It's got a nice balcony that overhangs, which I was really happy I was able to fit that in because it's such a tiny house. So it's kind of nice that you can kind of fit that in. Um, and then we just have some bookshelves and a little um, couch or uh, armchair to sit in. This room is the kitchen as well as dining room. Um, so there's no fridge in the kitchen because it's supposed to be old fashioned. So it's kind of like four fridges, I guess. Um, so there's just storage cabinets. These are barrels, which actually look really nice for just like cabinet designs. At least in like a house like this, I think they look pretty decent. And then you get a sink, some uh, towels, furnace and crafting table, and a nice little dining room table. Most of the lighting comes from the uh, lanterns in this house, which I think kind of fit the style besides like the chandelier and those lights right there. I think pretty much everything comes from the lanterns. Um, here's like the living room. So no TV in here or anything. We got the cartography tables, which these look pretty cool. Um, more books, which I think are the same books from the other side. Um, little armchair here. We got curtains um, with using banners, which look pretty nice. And um, nice little sofa here I think this is an old sofa design I used to use but it looks looks pretty nice like that so I uh, I kind of like that one might might continue to use it I don't I feel like I stopped using it for a little while but it honestly looks pretty good um, this room is the bathroom so the this is might be the most modern of all the rooms because it has a toilet <laughs> um, so you know a toilet We'll, we'll go past that they probably didn't have plumbing um, and then you have just a little storage area where you can keep towels and stuff 
uh, and a tub with some storage up there, and a sink and a draw. So pretty, pretty basic design right there. Here we got a little overlook of the floor below. Nice, got a nice view out into the backyard. So in here, this is the final room. We have the bedroom. Uh, nice little bed right here. Um, and then a little desk to do work. Uh, I utilize the end rods because they look like nice little support beams for everything. Um, besides like this little glowing effect, but that doesn't bother me much. They still look really cool. And then you got banners going around the bed, so it looks like you can give yourself privacy, which is pretty nice. And last little thing is the closet in here with just some storage. And like I said, it's small interior, so that concludes the whole interior. So we'll take a walk downstairs, and we'll walk out to the back and side yard, and then we'll kind of wrap up this uh, house tour. So you got another little flower area right here. Um, to the left of the yard, there's a nice um, swing, which is this is a pretty cool swing design. Uh, you use end rods on the back, so it's not connected here, but really, if you're far away, it looks like it's connected. The only angle it doesn't is if you look at it from this angle, which is fine, because every other angle it looks connected. And then you got trap doors and some carpet on it, and I think it makes a really nice swing design. Um, ponds over here, looks very nice. Um, and then you have a river that goes through the woods over there, and a nice little bridge. I do like how this bridge turned out. I think it's a nice bridge design. Um, and the river just goes into the woods over there. And then this will eventually turn into something, I'm sure. I just haven't built it yet. But it's a nice little pathway that goes, leads into the woods. Um, we'll come back over to this part portion of the backyard. If you walk a little deeper in, you have a nice kind of like flower field, which I think... I think when you put these flowers all together, they just look so pretty. So I, I like how they look in like big bunches like this. Um, like if they're just kind of like individually, like one or two, like just right in front of something, I don't know if it always looks so good, but like when they're in like a big cluster like this, it just looks really nice. Um, and then this is my attempt at a weeping willow right here. Um, it looks, I think it looks okay, not too bad. Um, my goal when I first built it was to have it kind of overhang a little more into this area, but it, it would have been really big and it would have overshadowed the rest of the trees, which I think would have looked weird, so I just left it as is. And, um, that, I think, is the extent. There's really, all that's in here is just forest. There's nothing in hidden back there that I can show you guys. It's just literally just leaves and forest and makes the um, whole yard look a little bit nicer and same in this area besides the hill that's so that's that's pretty much it guys I hope you all enjoyed um, this house tour of my like little Tudor gothic styled house um, I had fun building it it was a quick project um, I might I might start building again here and there, so maybe you can expect an upload from me occasionally. Um, I wouldn't count on it, but, you know, it's been real. Um, you guys can reach me at Twitter and whatnot, so I'll leave those links down below if you want to get in contact with me. Um, and maybe I'll start posting there a little more often if there's an audience for it. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all later. Peace out.